Greetings guys, hope you all are doing really well, staying safe and preparing for the upcoming exams. This is Nishant Srigunath here, welcoming you back once again to my lessons in direct tax. And in this study, we'll be learning about chapter 6a, deductions under section 80c to 80u. So this is a pretty vast topic and what I'm going to do here is, I'll be breaking up the whole deductions part, that is from 80c to 80u into different different sections or different different parts and make individual videos for all those parts. So the whole study will be coming in multiple parts and each of those parts will be containing certain set of deductions from ATC to ATU and this video is going to be the first part that is an introduction and if possible I'll club first few deductions in this part itself. Alright, so let's start. So first let's check what are the contents of our study. Nothing much, introduction about the topic, some general points that you need to remember and then we'll enter the deductions. Alright, so this area is where we'll be dealing with each of those sections from ATC to ATU. So let's check out the introduction first. So till now, we studied income from salary that is section 15 to 17, house property 22 to 27, PGBP 28 to 44. 41 to 45 capital gains and 56 to 59 income from other sources and these are the five heads of income and the total of these five heads is called the aggregate income all right now after that what we do is we club income of other persons with the SSC's income and that fall under the clubbing provisions which fall under section 60 to 65 and post that we do an adjustment for setting off and carry forward that falls from section 70 to 80 now, the total from the heads, that is aggregate income, after clubbing and set off and carry forward is called the gross total income. So right here, right here after set off and carry forward, what we get is the gross total income. Now from gross total income, we deduct our chapter 6a deductions, ATC to ATU and post that deduction, we get what is called the taxable income or total income on which we apply the required tax rates and find the tax to be paid. Got it? I'll give you a different table now. Same thing, five heads, total is called the aggregate income. We do the clubbing, carry forward and set off, we get the gross total income. We do the deductions as per ATC to ATU, we get the total taxable income and on that we apply our tax rate and calculate the tax to be paid. Got it? So in short, Deductions is nothing but a set of items which can be in the nature of payments, incomes or certain other state of being which is to be deducted from our gross total income in order to find our total income or taxable income on which we finally decide whether we have to pay tax and if we are to pay tax, take the required rate and calculate the tax. Got it? Alright, now that's it about a basic introduction about the study. Now, I'll give you a quick table so that you can easily understand the items which can be deducted as per section ATC to ATU. So, it is a set of deductible items based on three things. First one, income earned. Second one, expenses incurred and finally certain state of being. So, deductions under ATC to ATU are a set of deductible items which are based on either certain incomes that we earn, that is certain incomes that we can deduct, certain expenses that we have incurred, that is deduct certain expenses that we have made or certain state of being will allow the SSE to make a deduction of a certain amount. Now we will be studying all the deductions under these three different groupings or headings. Alright, now let's move on to certain general points that we need to keep in mind while we deal with deductions. So first one is amount of deductions is restricted to gross total income. We saw on the table right, it's from gross total income, we deduct our deductions. So our deductions cannot exceed our gross total income because the least our total income can become zero. So if gross total income say is 1 lakh rupees, our deductions which we are capable or eligible of is 2 lakhs, we cannot deduct 2 lakhs, we can only deduct 1 lakh. You'll understand that from the table which will be followed after this slide. Alright, now there are certain items of income for which we cannot take deductions and they are LTCG, STCG under section 111A, cash flow incomes winning from lotteries, betting etc. That is 115BB, 
and certain incomes under 105A, A, B, A, C, A, C, etc. Um, one easy way to remember here is whatever income that we earn will have which has a fixed amount of tax rate, fixed amount uh, rate of tax cannot be utilized for deductions. CLTCG has a fixed rate of tax. STCG under section 11 a has a fixed rate of tax. Cash flow incomes, winnings from lotteries, we learned in IFOs, they have a fixed rate of tax of 30 percentage, right? So incomes like that cannot be utilized for deduction. Those incomes, those items of income, we have to pay tax regardless of the deductions that we have. So regardless of whatever items of deduction that we have, we will have to pay tax for these items. It might sound a bit confusing right now, but don't worry, the following table will clear it out easily. All right. So just keep this in mind. These items, you cannot utilize deductions. And next crucial point is SSE has to claim the deductions in the return. So without claiming them in the return, you cannot take deductions. That's pretty given, right? But then the material, study material of our institute had mentioned this specifically. So I included it in this general point study. So let's look at a table. Again, it's the same thing that we saw previously. Five heads. Aggregate, club, bing, carry forward, gross total, deductions, then we get total tax, sorry, total income, apply tax rate, and we get tax, all right? Add, 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 get the aggregate, add, add or minus, we get gross total income, minus deductions, we get total income, apply tax rate, get the tax. So that's the general flow in order for calculating our tax. But then previously I told you that, Certain items of income that is STCG under triple one A, LTCG and cash flow incomes, we cannot utilize deductions, right? The previous slide we saw that. So how can we pick up those items from aggregate income, set them aside and calculate deductions for the rest of the income? Because STCG will definitely be included in capital gain, LTCG will be included here, cash flow income will be included here, right? So there is an easy method by which we can take those items, put them aside, Take the balance gross total income, make the deductions and calculate the total income. It's nothing but a simple table which will be followed right after this one. Let's check it out. So this is it. So what I've done here is I took gross total income that comes over here in total column. I split them into four heads. One head for being triple one A STCG. The next head LTCG, another head cash flow income and the fourth and final head balance. Now this is the table which is given to us by our institute in our study material and this is a very useful, easy to understand one and I've just taken a copy and pasted it over here. So I'll tell you how to deal with this. So first of all, particulars, details, 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 details and total. Split up GTI based on allowability. Allowability as in what all incomes are allowable for deduction. So we learned previously that STCG under triple one A, LTCG and cash flow income, we cannot take deductions. And for whatever remains after that, we can take deductions. So just split up the amount. So these are the amounts I split it up and this total will give us a gross total income. All right. That is the income after aggregation, clubbing and carry forward and set of adjustment. Now for these three items, no deductions is allowed. Deductions will only be allowed for the balance GTI. So for that, you have to know that deductions will be restricted to the amount of balance GTI. So apply deductions only for balance GTI, deduct the amount and take whatever remains. So these three items, no deductions. So they will stay as it is. Apply the tax rate specifically applicable for each of these incomes and use slab rate for the balance GTI. Calculate tax and with that you get the gross tax liability. Oh, sorry. This total amount was supposed to be over here. Sorry for that error. But then you get the idea. So that's how you split up the gross total income and apply deductions only for the balance, which is allowable for deductions. Got it? I think that's all about the introduction topics. Let me just check whether I have any more slides left. Okay. Yeah. One more. So the whole deductions chapter 6a is divided into or constructed via multiple heads. There is heading A, B, C, C, A and D. All right. Heading A is nothing but certain introductory points, certain general points about the whole chapter. Nothing much happening there. Just general stuff. All right. So heading A, A, B, A, C all include certain general points. But then heading B, C, C, A and D includes all the deductions and each of these headings 
deal with deductions of certain kind. Let's see what they are. Heading B deals with deductions which are in the nature of payments. Heading C deals with deductions which are in the nature of incomes that the SSE receives. Again, CA being an extension of C is also incomes, but they are categorized into other incomes. All right. And finally, heading D is for certain state of being. I told you in the beginning, right? You get deduction for three things. One is certain payments that the SSE makes. Second is certain incomes the SSE receives. And finally, third one, certain kind of state of being. That is, there is no income, there is no expense, but then a state of being. All right. You'll understand that once we learn the deductions in detail. All right. So these are the sections which fall under each of the headings. So for heading B, payments related deductions, we have section C to GGC, ATC to ATGGC. Likewise for heading C for income related, we have ATH to RRB. Now for other incomes category, we have ATTTA alone. And for finally, uh, for finally uh, heading D, certain state of being, we have section ATU. Also, this is straight away related to ATDD as well. The only difference being for ATU, the state of being is the SSE himself. Whereas for ATDDB, which also falls in a similar category, just like ATU, the state of being is not concerned with the SSE. It's concerned with a dependent of the SSE. Same thing. The only change is U is for the SSE himself and DDB is for a dependent. All right. So that's it about the general introduction from the next video. We'll start with the first part, that is a part of heading B, wherein we'll be learning a set of deductions from ATC to ATGGC. I hope you understood this lesson pretty well, because only with proper understanding of this introduction lesson, we can proceed further with our deductions. So if at all you have any doubts, please, please feel free to contact me. Uh, my contact details will be given in the description, or you can just post a comment I'll be replying to every comment on an alternative day basis. All right. Or whenever I get time, I might get busy, but then I'll be looking at all the comments and be replying to all of them. So bye for now. Stay safe and take care. See you in the coming videos.